offshore, the ROV team has made a discovery too. They've located another shelf on the reef, more than 900 feet down. And with just four days left to search, they spot something. Looks like a piece of wire. You know, wire could be wiring from the airplane. It could be antenna cables, control cables. It's the first man-made object they've found, and it's located right where they expected it to be, directly below Nessie, the mysterious object on the reef in the 1937 photograph. It could prove that Amelia really did land here. To pick up the wire, they need to attach the ROV's grappling arm and return to the same spot. But with its tracking device destroyed, the submersible will be flying blind. Finding the wire again could be impossible. That night, in a meeting on board the Naya, they decide they should try to retrieve the wire, even without their tracking device. There it is. Oh, oh. You just right passed yeah. just right You okay, also, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. I think we need to grab it if we can. Yeah. Figure out what it is. But the next day, when they send the ROV down again with its grappling arm attached, they can't find the wire. Without a tracking device, there's no way to retrace their path. To make matters worse, the current has picked up again, making it nearly impossible to control the ROV. I'm dragging the clump weight over there. I'm like five meters from the wall. I don't think it's going to happen, boys. I can see the land, but I just can't get close enough to it. So far, their luck has been consistently bad. Yeah, we've only got two and a half days left, so. If Amelia's plane is down there, they don't have much time to find it. <laughs>